Right, here we are. Tenth year of Arena Cross. I'm really excited about it. We're back at Manchester. I'm really excited about that as well because this arena is a really good one. Um, it's been a long time since we've been back here and it's been an amazing 10 years and we can't wait to hopefully do another 10 if we're all... Can you go another 10, Matt? Matt Bates? Of course. Organiser, of course. I'll be 45 by then. <laughs> of course I can. Another 10 years and uh, we are really pleased to have this cat uh, riding with us this year, Justin Bogle. Justin, uh, first of all, Happy New Year. Thank you, welcome Thank to you the UK. Um, as, as a Brit, Welcome to the UK. So he's asked, he's, a, yeah. he's officially a British writer. Well, let, let's talk about that because you are because you're married to a British a British woman. Yeah. So, uh, how's the sarcasm levels? Uh, I thought I was good. I don't hold a candle. She's no. got me beat for sure. She's funny, so I'm still catching on. I'm learning. I'm learning for sure. Uh, perfecting my accent, which a lot of people think they're like, "What are you doing? Are you mocking?" No. I'm just admiring and just trying to ingrain myself in the culture, you know what I mean? So, well, you've got a fun. good few weeks now to pick up some key words. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think you're pretty clued up on all the curse words, the swear words, inevitably, but you'll it pick up, you'll pick up yeah. some certain terminology. You think, what the hell are they talking about? Yeah. But you're, you're, oh, yeah. You'll get watched there. Every you episode of Top Boy, so I'm good. Have you spent much time in the UK? Not I mean, a lot, not no. a lot. Just uh, uh, a lot of time going through Heathrow Airport, for sure, going yeah. places, but uh, just last uh last year coming through uh racing birmingham world supercross and then just visiting family over uh over yeah. here so that's about it but i'm excited man this is a country that i love to come to it's fun it's easier for me and for us coming yeah. here you know is your wife coming over she will be at some of them not sure yet because she works as well so she's busy all the time so yeah hopefully she'll get over for some of them though it's yeah. a lot easier when she's here she uh takes care of basically everything for me so <laughs> nice <laughs> we know that, really. so listen we've got your racing and you're racing the, the stark i mean obviously you've come accustomed to it how's that all working out because clearly the videos i've seen you riding it you look pretty dialed in on it already it's so fun man i think i said this in an interview the other day i i could take off the salesman hat take off the stark jacket and honestly straight up dead serious i love riding the thing so fun i've not is raced it, it yet is it that so much we'll different it's quite a bit different but not that hard to get used to it you know riding outdoors super easy supercross supercross is difficult to race anyways right it's so what it do, I, I always watch and just think how does it feel not to have a clutch in your hand because that you kind of live on that yeah. and then you've got nothing in your left hand i think that's you know for me the adjustment was just 25 years of muscle memory trying to you know reprogram yeah, yeah. the brain i did a start at a, an event in spain while I was over there, and if you watch the video, you can see I still let my you finger still, out. Did yeah, you really? Did. There's nothing there. No, I, That's funny. I did pull whole shots though, so it was good. Where you yeah, go. hey, whatever. I know Matt Rabot on the freestyle side, yeah. he had a clutch, a false clutch fitted. So as, he, so as he had it. So he felt And he was using it like it. a clutch. Yeah, it did nothing. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I don't know, a lot of times for us, if we take the clutch off and don't ride with it, we yeah. ride better anyway. So it's one of those things that yeah, yeah. I don't use it a ton, so. I mean, for us, it's twofold. Obviously, it's fabulous to have you here, you know, obviously with your background racing AMA Supercross, but that coupled with the fact that the Stark is, you know, going to make really, I know we've seen it race, but the UK debut proper, because obviously yeah, we had yeah. them at the AX Festival. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite a buzz to see how actually they're going to perform across the series, you know, and you being in the mix as well. Obviously, you're feeling confident. Have you got any idea or done any research on who you think is going to be your main competitors or you just... Not even thinking that way. I yet. mean, I'm excited. First off, it's all new for me. And for me, with it being, I, I'm getting a little older, you know, and I've been racing for a long time. So to have something so exciting and new, and that's with team, bike, yeah, and it's not just switching brands, it's a whole new thing, you know, and that's very, very fun for me right now. And then new series coming yeah. over here and racing this, it's, it's so exciting, man. And I definitely watched as much as I could find on YouTube, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. and obviously, we all know of the of the legends over here and Tommy's obviously done a lot for for the UK and the motocross scene so watching uh Tommy and, and Conrad battle each other was was yeah fun and they're to not watch, slow so. are they you know when for years we no, had like not. loads of French riders come over here which you know they the French guys are quick you know they they've, they've they've had a career on supercross whereas we've not so then so then the problem I had is there's so many British riders like Tommy and so on at the height of their career they just didn't want to do it because they felt that a they would get their asses kicked by a load of French riders 
and then secondly they could get injured so so that's why a year ago you know jeff and i were talking we went right let's make this thing british only and it made such a difference and in fact when when you watch them actually they're pretty good at it and, and, and Tommy did Supercross as well in, in America with you guys and didn't do bad you know he was still pretty quick mm. so it's it, it'd be it's interesting for me that you're here you know as a promoter I look at it and think I always want a British guy to win okay so you know I, I'm saying that now because you know that's natural you know it's a natural thing but I also want to see them have a good race with riders like you that have done it and it's like well okay so then you know, I, I'm interested to see what happens. Yeah, I me really too. Am. I mean, and, and like you said, the guys are fast. Yeah. You know, it's it's not a joke, you know? And look, and it's not the most difficult thing out there. I say that and I'm not going to get out of there. <laughs> Come on, but you, don't you give it a go. We I mean. make it look easy, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's not, is it? You know, for you guys, it's pretty, it's pretty basic stuff, I guess. But it brings a whole new set of challenges racing yeah. on such tight confines, honestly. Uh, with the little experience that I've had with some races that have been smaller, yeah, yeah. It brings a new set of challenges for sure. Yeah, yeah. Supercross has its own thing, but if only we could bring Vince Freeze. I was here. see that's why I was giggling. Like, that's why I was laughing. I was just thinking the minute you said that, I was thinking I was thinking back there. Respectfully. That we did <laughs> Abu Dhabi. I was I think for all back. of our sakes, if for whatever you just said, I think yeah, it'd be yeah. better if we, you know. <laughs> oh no, look, I get it. I get oh, it. So, our own version. We have got our own our yeah, own. With all due respect, if you say with all due respect, you can obviously, yeah, no, obviously. say whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, so. yeah, of course. And look, and from a that that night in Abu Dhabi we were both there and and as a fan you you looked at it and you thought god you know as a rider you'd yeah. want to kill whoever rides like that and then as a fan you look at it and think thank god someone's there doing that because it makes for a great night because there wasn't much else going on so that made the night so much better it made the racing so much better but there's a balance isn't there it was exciting i yeah. was uh, able to enjoy it because I was not in the same class. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm good friends with a lot of the guys that I'm, are, and yeah. man, it, it's one thing. I think it's fine having tight racing and yeah. rubbing is racing, you know, yeah. and especially when you're on a super small track, small arenas. Yeah, yeah. But there is a line of some sort of respect, you know, yeah. with, and safety when it comes to certain things. So yeah. you can race hard and want to win badly without yeah. being you know yeah. doing things that are dangerous well you're coming in you've got so much experience you know you're going to get that out there have you had any experience racing arena because i i can't remember the early part of your career obviously you went into supercross which is a different thing have you done much arena cross in america not at all not at all as no. an adult i grew up racing a lot of arena crosses uh being from the midwest in the u.s uh with the winters being cold and with snow and stuff we would race a lot of arena cross stuff so i did a lot of that up until i was you know yeah. maybe 12 13. Yeah, yeah. But nothing since, so. Yeah. Excited, something new, man. It, it, yeah, well, like we said, I'm really looking forward to seeing you out there. I'm really just hoping that I can just, you know, remember how to do starts. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> if I can just get a whole shot. Yeah, if your fingers are out like that, we know you're on for a good one. I'm gonna be watching that down exactly. on the start line. He's on that, he wants to get his fingers out, you know. Most importantly though, for me, as a promoter, you know, you want every rider to enjoy it. And for quite a few years a lot of the british riders that i had you know with all the french guys they weren't enjoying it and that was actually quite you know they think you're a promoter and all you care about is selling tickets and in fact you don't you want everyone to have a good time if you're happy i'm happy and if everyone's enjoying it then that's the reason why you do it so the big thing for me is that look we're a bunch of people on this planet in a very short space of time it's like right if we can just make that a bit more fun and you go home happy and you go home saying actually that's a really good series to go and do it's not too crazily serious they're now to have fun that's that's what works for me because we want to take this product to lots of other countries if we can because i think it'll work yeah when it goes international i guess that's one of the reasons because i've never asked you this since you made the decision as yeah. well with that obviously because you said Brits only and it worked really well last year yeah yeah clearly an honorary brit but not, yeah, yeah. not a brit well so, so well, is that obviously due to the the start we wanted stark no, involved it was, and it, that, like we said a year ago that it'd be british riders only and then i never said it again after then and right. it's like everyone now holds you to ransom it's like right well you said you would never let any international rider in so like, well, that was just for last year yeah. yeah and then trying to explain to people even in our own team that a british championship could be won by an american or a frenchman or an italian you know it, it's just the fact it's a british championship yeah. So. But like you said, the championship's still on and the fact that you ride obviously for Stark and then to try and evolve the series and maybe mm. take it in a national, we, we do need to ride. Yeah, and we need here. to go green as well. Yeah. Let's be honest. Like 
the future, regardless of what anyone thinks, this is the future. There's, the, you know, the motorsport, the petrol head purists, me included, are sitting there going, well, I hope it doesn't because we love the smell and sound of a four stroke or a two stroke. Well, we just got to get in the real world. Our kids are racing and they want to ride electric bikes and that's what they will consume. Yeah. So in 10 years time, will this be full of gas powered four strokes? Well, no, you know, that's the reality. That Short term is. compromise for me is electric indoors and a slow yeah. evolution of electric outdoors yeah, because yeah. you know indoors I can see it working because yeah. as a promoter you know we can start going in the summer outside of arenas and go in Hyde Park that's city right. centres yeah, that's right. which you just wouldn't be able to do otherwise and it's like you know we're in a we're in a world now of beer you have to be mindful of what we're all doing as human beings to the world and I know that sounds you know look, you. look at us with like thousands of times it's, true. Of it's, true. It is. it's a fact it is. and and that's why you know, I've been saying to the other manufacturers, look, you know, use us as that test bench for electric racing because you don't have the problem of a big two and a half minute hilly sand track where, where you know, battery power is an issue. Come and race a five minute arena cross race and then you can start to evolve and develop your product. And, and that's the way I want it to go, but at the minute it kind of has to mix. And that's why it's, it, it, I, I'm looking forward to seeing it. So something like this, in a way, you said, you know, you touched on you're getting old, older, we all are. You've still got plenty left in the tank. So, but this kind of racing then, would that, like, you, do you feel that might extend your career a little bit? Absolutely. You know, I, was, yeah. you know. I think that's a big part of it too for me is yeah, yeah. something like this. And like you had just said, it's fun. You know, it's not, yeah. I mean, it is serious because every, every time you race, you want to win. Everyone does. Yeah, yeah. And it's not just me, it's everyone that's racing, right? So. It's still competitive and that's what makes the show. So you need that, but less pressure, yeah, that kind of yeah, stuff yeah. that you deal with, you know, that I dealt with for the last decade, yeah. it makes it a lot more enjoyable, you know? What's it, that like? Like you won a Supercross championship, which so few yeah. people can say that, you know? Yeah, How much pressure is that? Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> it definitely, it's a lot of pressure. I think yeah. being young too, cause we're all young, yeah. you turn pro, you have, High expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all think we're gonna win everything yeah. and do, you know, yeah. great things and we'll change the world like a yeah. college kid, right? But sometimes reality hits, yeah. you know. And for and me, you married English girl. Exactly. That's hey. that's when it is. Hey, I'm not mad at whatever <laughs> happened, right? Like, hey, I'm here now, so it's all good. But yeah, yeah, it's you know, being young, a lot of pressure, yeah. a lot of uh, yeah, I not imagine. not really understanding how to, I guess, handle it and cope with that. You do your best, you do what you do, it is what it is, yeah. but if I knew then what I know now, yeah, yada yada, we're, whatever, but... We're way ahead of you on that. It's all... <laughs> Ten years or more. It's all good, man. That's part of the allure, you know, is the high stakes and there's pressure to try to... It's what pushes you to be your best, and yeah, yeah. for me, I, I really enjoyed it, honestly, and yeah. whether or not I might have pushed myself a little further than I should have at times and had a lot of injuries is what yeah, it is, comes with the territory, yeah. you know, like... Yeah, you Whatever. can't undo the, the past, so, you know, it's great that you've... Look, I, I'm, I'm pleased you're here, you know, I really am. I'm pleased Stark are here, yeah, and, and they've picked up Jack as well as your teammate, who's, who's a good guy. Have you met him? Have you I do, I really like Jack. Yeah, Jack's I spent some back. time with him yeah. over in Spain, riding with him yeah. and stuff, so yeah. I was excited when they got that deal yeah, done, because yeah. he's a cool dude, so. Yeah, that works for us. Well, really I've got does. a feeling um, that we'll be seeing you, not just that hopefully many more years to come. I mean, it's all there, You've married an English woman, you know, yeah. so you've got basically, you're, you're an honorary Brit. It makes sense. It all sense. goes well, and then yeah. hopefully you'll be back year after year. Yeah. And you, might, you might be, you know, Arena Cross champion. We wish you the very best of luck. Thank you, sir. Thanks Appreciate for being that. Over, honestly, yeah, that's Thanks, really sir. cool. Uh, so there you go, a little chat with uh, Justin and Matt, and um, we're ready to kick this thing off at Manchester. Can't wait.